Storch. Does anybody remember who I just played as? Speedy. I'm up to Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Boy, Aaron, you know, sorry, the Thunder Sphere, that promo guy, hello. He goes tongue, he goes to Magog. Macho King Girl, thanks for the 30 months. I'm glad you enjoyed the video. I'm pretty sure Hand Entrepreneur is one of the worst possible starts in the game. Pruner! That isn't Hand. We'll take it. Um, basically, this character just gets a lot more money, but damage modifications aren't as good. But like, I'm pretty sure for the most part, you just buy damage modifications anyway, and you just have to buy more of them. Because how else are you gonna win? Like, you're still going to have to kill the enemies, right? Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. And Shadow Links for the two years. Appreciate it. Did I watch The Fast Cars? I did. I lost property. Watching The Fast Cars was kind of wild. As someone who had been watching The Fast Cars for a while. And thought he knew what to expect. Expect the unexpected when you watch The Fast Cars. Except not very often. Uh, also, there was that one pass that was absolutely wild. I kind of want to roll for harvesting. I don't know. None of these seem any good. I will take luck. It's minus 25% item price. I'm going to take another support item because that gets me harvesting. And I would like to have harvesting. And then I think I might take a pistol so I have guns. I don't know. It doesn't seem that good. Oh, I'm an entrepreneur, so I can roll. Because uh, as entrepreneur, you don't save your stuff. Zephyr? Zephyr was very comfortably asleep on the couch upstairs. I gave him food and filled up his water. I gave him pets. I said, Zephyr, I have to go stream. I went and streamed, and then he came downstairs and started meowing at me. <laughs> Zephyr, why? Shroom Shriek Tallow. Are you pastying a Jorbs Zephyr arrive, Masa? Thank you. Thank you, Bob. He routine sadness. I will take my first attack speed. That seems fine. I'm not entirely sure why I'm taking Cacti Club. I just have noticed that I am. Is it like an okay weapon? Primitive and Heavy both have pretty good tags on them. And then also benefits from both ranged attack and melee attack, so I can kind of just take the best things. Alright, we're gonna go kick that clop, apparently. I feel like Cacti Club is a weapon that benefits from you having a lot of random bullshit, and I also feel like Entrepreneur has a lot of random bullshit, so it makes sense to me. I am not going to kill that loot goblin, unfortunately. You're welcome, Byron. 
Thanks to the words Rigiki Passions yesterday. You're welcome for those as well. Happy I could be of service. Another one of these. Be a claw tree. Is claw tree good? I don't know. Maybe. It could be good. It's hard to say. I think Cactus Club also just kind of has decent base values. Which is a weird thing to say because its base numbers are not that good. But it has a lot of the numbers and also it has a pretty good swing animation. Like it hits lots of things. Anyway. It's not like the thing I would choose if I got to choose, but you don't get to choose, and it's the thing I was offered, and it seemed good enough. Wow, I'm really surprised I didn't die. That's too bad. Was the title of the DVR video supposed to say DV reward instead of DV response? Uh, probably, yes. That sounds like what the video is actually about. Entrepreneurs try doing podcasts earn extra money in between waves. Can sell a product too. Perhaps one of the products that entrepreneur is invested in. Synergy. Why do I sometimes deal 12 and so oh, my pruners deal 12 and my cactus club deals 13. I get it. Maybe he's trying to save me from work. Maybe he's like, human, you work too much. Let his effort save you. Conceptually, entrepreneur should be good with engineering, but like, in practice, how does one even find engineering stuff? This is my item. This is okay too. I just found out a 10 year old chess party and beat Magnus Carlson. I saw that a 13 year old Grandmaster beat him. Uh, was it like a classical time control match or was it like five minute online blitz? Because I do feel like there's a difference. It is excellent to see the kids doing well though. The kids are okay, by which I mean very, very invested in a in like thousand year old board game. He lost to Alia Atreides in the womb. That is definitely on him. I would not have played that opening. Do I want a BB elephant? It doesn't do anything yet. Maybe someday I will. Could take a garden. Take a garden and lock my baby elephant. I think like generally, generally as this character, you're going to kind of do everything because you kind of have a lot of money. Although, looking at how much money I have, it is already wave seven and I don't have that much money. And I do not deal enough damage to kill these, yikes. I let them spawn. Wave is still going okay, I'm not dying. I found a box! Lifesteal? Nah. Get some HP. Uh, this thing, this thing, this thing. None of that dealt more damage. This kind of deals damage. 
like a kind of like luck. Just roll. This deals some damage. This deals some damage. This is okay. I always feel like the thorns are disappointing with Cactus Club. Well, it depends how heavily you invest in ranged damage. You can actually build Cactus Clubs as a ranged damage weapon and, like, not go for melee damage on them at all. And if you do, the thorns get pretty good. But yeah, if you don't have like 30 flat ranged damage or something, they're not gonna be anything to write home about. I'm not gonna kill that, I don't think. Oh dear. Time to sit better. I got damage. Melee damage. Good. This thing. This thing. This thing's okay. Do I want a pencil? I don't have any engineering. It's buy pencil or roll. I mean, I don't have anything that engineering does. <laughs> That's what I mean. Go okay, roll. A nuclear launcher. Okay. And a pocket factory. Alright. Let's just survive wave 9. And then we have something going on. Cool. Random bullshit deployed. I don't remember if the thorns are affected by damage percent. I believe they are, yes. I think a lot of this is just that the primitive set bonus gives you a bunch of max HP early, and so I'm not dead when I would have been dead with other weapons. And other than that, the Cactus Clubs are doing approximately okay. They're doing well enough. I can take Gentle Alien now, I think. Sure. Sake Engineering now that I have a Pocket Factory. And by that, and by that, and by that. And I have a baby with a beard. With zero range to damage. Nice. I'm gonna buy it. Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh! What's up? I gave you food. I gave you water. Fresh water. I gave you pets. Maybe the problem is that I, I get them all excited to spend time with me and then I disappear. That could be the problem. What game is this? This is a Brotato. Like if Vampire Survivors were a 20 minute long strategy game. And also difficult. You have really found yourself in a position to write home about things that happened to you in games. Oh my god, that's my entire career. All I do, all I do is tell all my people what happens to me in the game. Please stop meowing at me. Oh, yeah. Nuclear Launcher sure seems to be a better weapon than a Cactus Club. Also, by the way, point of order, worth noting, uh, Cactus Club has the heavy tag, which makes it um, so you are more likely to find weapons with the heavy tag if you have a Cactus Club. There is a 
pretty good chance that the reason I found a nuclear launcher is that I was using Cactus Club. So, another point in favor of the Cactus Club. Your daughter calls it the egg game. And likes to pick which egg you play next. Nice. Elemental damage actually scales this, but I'm still not taking it, I don't think. Let's take crit chance, it's fine. Is Cactus Club similar to Club Penguin? Almost certainly, yeah. So this is kind of weird. I'm going to literally buy everything. Uh, I now have negative 25 range, and I have a baby with a beard, even though it doesn't deal any damage. <laughs> I am not sure if this made me stronger. But it definitely gives me something to grow into. Over the course of the next few waves. And probably the nuclear launcher is just strong enough that for right now I'm okay. I got a bunch more engineering, so my tree turrets are going to hopefully do something. I don't always know how much Pocket Factory actually does. There are certainly runs where you notice, like, oh, my turrets, they're killing everything. Uh, there are also runs where you don't notice that. <laughs> I've never sat them down and done the math on, like, this is a good buy if you have 10 engineering or something like that. Do explosions lifesteal? It's a very reasonable thing to expect me to know. I don't remember. I am sure that at some point in my life I have known that. But that point is not right now. <laughs> Unlucky. Uh, one of these. Is that Elite Wave? If I die this run, fairly likely it's right now. Okay. I like my chances to survive that one. Oh god, that's really bad actually. I can't really get hit by those. some life seal Someone can pay a lot of attention and let me know whether the explosions life steal. I think they do. I think baby with a beard shots do as well. I think the the thing that doesn't life steal is stuff that targets randomly. I think that it is the thing that makes something not lifesteal. Explosions do not lifesteal. Oh, well. Shows what I know. What's the what's the thing? Like, how do you tell whether something life steals or not? Baby with a beard and cactus spines do life steal. Okay. Where does that leave us? What does that mean?
Oh, wow. I am dialed in. I have become dialed. Ow. Your Slay the Spire board game just arrived. Hell yeah. There are a lot of pieces. There are a lot of pieces. You have a lot of um, piece punching to do. I wish you the best of luck. That's awesome. Some turrets. Some turrets feel like they'd be good. Acid? Okay. Saves me the reroll cost. Some of those. I think I actually like 2 HP from consumables. I have a garden. <laughs> You've never seen a man so dialed. So I do really feel like I'm accelerating past the game now. Like, I feel like on wave 7 it was like, ooh, I'm like a little less strong than I should be. But now on wave 14, I feel like I have just one. This is often the entrepreneur experience for me. Although maybe, I think there are two more elites. Maybe a bad elite fight could kill me. But it's just like, I have so many things. And they all do like a little bit. I believe this is called a diverse portfolio. That nice. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow. Uh huh. <laughs> Ooh, a crown. <laughs> okay, sure. It's cheap. One thing about this game is you do frequently die in wave 20, even having found the previous couple ways easy. Dealing with the bosses demands somewhat different things from your build. It might also just be learning to dodge in that fight. Because the enemies are always the same, so like once you learn how to dodge them, it's not too bad in my experience. A lot of HP regen from that fairy. I don't think I can kill this though, unless I can stay close to it. I think still I couldn't. Okay, we're fine. That's fine. We don't have to kill it. We just have to not die. Very probably true. You cannot dodge for shit. This elite I am fighting now in particular often gets you. Yes. Gotta get more fingers. It is a game that is decided by fingers. Fairly regularly. Hmm. This is one of the rare occasions where Strange Book could actually do something, but I don't have any elemental damage, so. Too bad. You're annoyed that picking the arms upgrade doesn't give more arms. Well, it makes your arms stronger, it doesn't. Make it so you have more of them. I think I would hate it, actually, if potatoes could get more arms. I think that would just feel very... I don't know. It wouldn't feel right. Do 
good stuff. Do potatoes have eyes all over their body like potatoes do? I think so, because we can see in every direction, right? So it seems like they must. You significantly improved in this game when you were trying to go infinite with Saber. Why? What about that made you significantly improve? Sad harvesting for entrepreneur? Well, I have invested instead in nuclear launchers, which may not win us the economic war as easily but which are nonetheless quite useful. Did you know that the US um, built, built like a handheld nuclear launcher? I believe it was fired one time. Isn't America great? I don't know, maybe it wasn't fired actually. But I, I'm pretty sure it was Pretty sure it was built. Nice silly name. All right, last elites. I should be quite prepared for this one, I imagine. I would like my speed. I would like not to buy Weird Ghost. Alright, this is fine. The best weapon is one you never have to shoot at all. A sword? says minus 25 when it hits me. Let's not get hit by that anymore. I appear not to have bought much armor. Oh my god, it's too strong. No! My damage is... Non-existent. Unfortunate. I'm sure a third nuclear launcher will help. You never have to shoot a pen, that's why it's so mighty. I spent five years of my life trying to invent. You know what the problem with social media is? We used to live in a world where everyone knew the same jokes because there were only, like, two of them. Like, it was just Monty Python and Saturday Night Live. So if you wanted to be up with the hip kids, you just had to watch Monty Python's Flying Circus and Saturday Night Live. Done. Nowadays, there are so many jokes. Like, what's going on with Grimace? What does this have to do with anything? I'm sure there's something to be said about, like, universal content versus localized content. Localized content? Is that what I want to say? Maybe. It could be. Is this it? Next wave is final wave. Alright. Let's try not to die. I like my chances. I 
I could certainly buy handcuffs. I could also just buy armor, which might be better. I'll buy handcuffs. In the last 40 years, we've also gone from 4 billion to 8 billion people. A lot more people make new jokes. That is wild. That is wild. Wow. That is so many people. Ah, yes, the number minus 26. Not my favorite number. Oh, I did not get hit by that. Come on. Ow. It has just occurred to me that I don't actually have to pick the materials up on this wave for any reason. But I'm like intentionally pathing like through attacks in order to pick up clusters of materials. <laughs> like it matters. Uh, it's fine. Why well, change what's working? All right, I didn't kill either of them, but we run one. We won the run. Cactus Club, which added nuclear launchers. Low damage, all run, but good. Yo, once got made fun of for not knowing a character that was featured in the script from the Glasgow Willy Wonka experience, which felt hyper specific to you. That is quite hyper specific you're only two episodes into the three bottom problem you have read the book and you are thoroughly enjoying it the thumbnail has a white girl on it that is strange hey draco bob dodging the sun was incredible the thing is it's the final wave and it's always the same like the enemies are always the same so if you just play the game enough eventually you get pretty good at dodging those particular enemies Engineer. I tried reading the three body problem and I was reading there's gonna be mild spoilers for the start of the three body problem, I guess. I was reading the first book and I was like, this is a really interesting look at like cults and how people like spread rumors about ufos and things like that that is like a fascinating premise for a book and i'm really interested in seeing more sorts of analysis of this spread of disinformation and propaganda and stuff and then the book was like like the aliens are real <laughs> and then i was like well that isn't interesting <laughs> And then I then I stopped reading the three body problem. Anyway, sorry if I have spoiled the three body problem for you. This is not like this is not a a deep in the plot spoiler or anything. This is like I have spoiled the intro. Wrench. Engineer with wrench. My memory of wrench engineer was that I liked just going six wrenches, and once you get to red wrenches, it felt very strong. It's an interesting book if you're willing to allow its initial premise. I did not find myself invested. Wax paper is things for 44 months. 
The three bunny problem can be solved with polyamory. Nice. What is... 69 can be solved with two bodies, but we still haven't worked out how to solve for 69 with three bodies. I feel like there's a joke in there somewhere. I'm not sure it's a very good joke. It's probably not very good. Effective steroids are okay. We need some melee damage. I do get 50% damage reduction, right? It's fine. We're mostly just going for all the wrenches. When the joke is just sex, the joke gets less good. Oh no. This is very unfortunate for my career. Am I gonna kill that? I I think I knocked that out of my turrets so it didn't die. I think that was dead if I didn't hit it with the wrench. My bad. Have I ever tried getting an infinite run? So here's the deal. I don't know what that means. My general experience with endless mode in games like Rotato is that there's like one build and then what it means to try to do well in endless mode is that you reroll until you get that one build and often there isn't actually piloting involved and I find that really fucking boring. <laughs> so that has been my general experience with endless mode for all games. And because of that, I have not really played around with Endless Mode for Brotato. Do I want luck for some reason? Not really. You always have clicking on the item that you can't afford and slay the spire as a fallback joke. Fallback joke. Is it fallback joke or is it panic at the joke? There you go. Another joke. Ladies and gentlemen, a third and a half joke. The fun part in engineer runs, if I remember right, is when you get pocket factory, uh, but you just have wrenches and 20 HP, and then you run around trying to kill the trees without dying. That's that good shit. Do I need dodge? Not really. This is fine. Uh, I don't remember. Disconcerted. Is there a way to just like share what mods I'm using on all games? with people? Like, does Steam have that feature? Can I just be like, share my mods with everyone? And then people could just like, click on my Steam profile and see? Because that seems like it would be helpful for other people and kind of helpful for me. And also seems like something that Steam could totally do. It can make a mod playlist per game. Yeah, that's exactly what I don't want to do. Steam already knows that information, right? I would like Steam to just say what my mod list is for every game without me having to do anything. Because let me tell you something about the chance that I am going to do that. In order to make the point, I'm not going to tell you anything about the chance that I'm going to do it. Planks are very good on Engineer. It would not be unreasonable to buy one plank. I'm not going to. I'm a believer in my uh, wrenches. I very nearly have a red turret. 
next wave I'm going to have two purple wrenches and then I'll probably just combine them. Red turret's pretty strong. After sneeze. All right, I did not cover my mouth. I had to like, something was going to have to not happen there and I decided that not covering my sneeze was the thing to do. You are now all infected with God Gamer. If you wake up in the middle of the night having beaten Ascension 20, uh, you know why. Blood donation? That feels like a bit much. I don't... I mean... Actually, it seems fine. I've changed my mind. I just talked about Sneeze covering my latest video. I know. I know. The hypocrisy. Get him, explodey turret. Yeah! Explosions. I do think that going for wrenches on Engineer is very much about just not spending on very much other than more wrenches until you get a red turret. Because the red turret is so strong. I guess I'll take that tree. Also, I found Pocket Factory, by the way, so that's cool. Only thing better than a red tart is a red tart with pierce and or bounce. That sounds good. I'd be down for that. Ooh, another red tart. Would I rather have two purples or one red? I would rather have one red. If you haven't played Who's Lila yet, do it now. It's fantastic. What is Who's Lila? What's that? How long does it take to play it? It sounds like it would be good. I'm compelled by the name. Ah yes, the part where I walk to a tree despite only having 5 wrenches and 20 HP and then die. <laughs> How am I meant to kill the trees? Is there some natural way in which this character would get to a point where it could kill trees? <sighs> I guess I just have a lot of money. Maybe I'll just get a lot stronger as the run goes on. Seems kind of likely. This button seems good. Wait, everything. This shop seems good. That was a good shop. That one, that one. I am not a fan of the blue turrets. Those are, in my experience, pretty bad here. <laughs> One of the few characters you use a lumberjack shirt on. Oh, sure, yeah. Lumberjack shirt seems pretty reasonable here. Is that the answer? Am I meant to just get a lumberjack shirt? Maybe I am. It would make me kill that tree a lot faster. Huh. I do kind of like how my turrets slowly spread out across the map as the trees spawn. 
like we kill the trees that are close to us and then the turrets from those trees kill the trees that are a bit further away. It's like the Roman Empire. It is a lot like the Roman Empire. I guess I've thought about the Roman Empire today. Oh well. <laughs> If I want a great free puzzle game, you strongly suggest the root trees are dead. It's an Oberdin like. Uh, I'm gonna make a spreadsheet again. <laughs> Give me some luck. Let's find some sweet shit. Garden is fine. Improved tools. I currently have minus five attack speed, so it's not the best improved tools I've ever seen. We can get some attack speed, it's okay. Roman Empire is the game for dudes in their 30s. <laughs> Maybe. I would like to submit the fact that I studied the Roman Empire at university. And as such, I feel like it is somewhat understandable that I think about it. You like the Roman Empire so much, name every Roman. <laughs> well, there was Julius, and there was Augustus. Oh, I liked the Flavian emperors. They are the ones who, like, built the Colosseum. Pretty cool shit. Who's the funniest Roman? Uh, ooh. Was it Plutonius who wrote the Satyricon? Here's the thing. I'm not sure the Satyricon was very funny. One thing about studying humans from 2,000 years ago is sometimes the professor is like, today we'll be reading a comedy and you will be seeing how funny humans from 2,000 years ago could be. And the answer is they couldn't be very funny. <laughs> Just not very good. <laughs> Just... I think like we had some philosophy stuff worked out such that we could write things that sounded philosophically compelling. I, I don't think we quite worked out comedy. Have I seen some of the recent comedies? That's a good point. That's that's a that's a good and fair point. The Agenius was hilarious. Diogenes is uh, not Roman, was not Roman. But when I was asked who the funniest Roman was, I did think of Diogenes, and then I thought, oh, he wasn't Roman. But yeah, that really says something about how funny Romans were, I think, that when you get asked who the funniest Roman was, you immediately think of, out of the, like, you know, 900 years in which Rome was a very relevant city-state slash empire. You immediately think of a Greek guy. <laughs> the puns were lost in translation. There are some good puns here and there. 
The Bible is actually pretty funny sometimes with puns. Dajani's benefits from the fact that he has no surviving writings and people know approximately three funny anecdotes from his life. Probably true. Mm -hmm. Exoskeleton seems like it would be an engineer item, doesn't it? This just ended up being a very, very, very straightforward run. And it is going well. They are going well. You know what I think would be an incredible Super Bowl commercial? KFC um, presents like one of their chicken baskets and says, Behold a man. I think that would be fucking hilarious. That would, to me, be the best Super Bowl commercial that has ever existed. Tyler's here. Yeah, just being a guy, you know. Plato in shambles. The man's dead. But hopefully it was all worth it. I'm going to take Peacock on a horde wave because I want to make things unnecessarily interesting. Objectively unnecessary, objectively a very bad choice. But I think it'll be fine. I don't even remember the last time I took damage, honestly. Because I was thinking, like, how much will it deal me? How much damage will I take? And then I was like, I have no idea how much damage I take when I get hit. Because it's been several waves since that happened. I take one damage when I get hit, because the only thing that hits me is blood donation. Yeah, I like really can't kill those trees though, can I? That's okay. That's okay. I am sensibly bobbing my head and tapping my foot right now. Order? Ooh, Lumberjack shirt. Need to get a tree sniper. A sniper who is a tree who snipes other trees from far away. All right. I think I need the thing that makes projectiles bounce. I think that's what I need. Actually, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I need anything. I think I'm fine. I've changed my mind. Ooh, I couldn't. Hey, Nicholas is tired. How's it going? I'm sorry to hear that you are tired. 
unless you'd like to be tired. Maybe you're tired after a, a good day of getting things done. In that case, I, I am not sorry to hear it. It sounds like a good state of being. Did I play Diablo 2 back in the day? You just got on, this reminds you of the secret cow level with a summoner necromancer build. I played so much of Diablo 2 back in the day. I was watching a Diablo 2 speedrun just before I started streaming. Today, even. I still participate in some way in the Diablo 2 universe. Why does it move so slow? Does each turret apply ugly teeth? There's no way. I know I have ugly tooth and I have the other one, but that felt like way more minus speed than it should have been. There's no way. There's no way that just Ugly Tooth and the other one, which I can't remember the name of, <laughs> did that. I refuse to believe it. Holy sh! Did you just see those rewards? I just got extra stomach, then diploma, then robot arm. As engineer. Like back to back to back. That was pretty good. The game has decided I'm winning this one. Another diploma. Okay. Did we ever figure out the lore on Tyler? I think Tyler's just a guy. Pretty sure Tyler's just a guy. You gave years of your life to Diablo 2 and never thought to check out the speedrun scene. Oh, Diablo 2 speedrunning is incredible. It is one of the best speedrunning games to me. Because Diablo 2 speedrunning doesn't have... Um, like, there's too much variance for it to have something that resembles just execution of a known path. If you look at, like, the the normal difficulty sorceress speedrun, then sure, like, yeah, all of the ones that are are up there on the leaderboard are going to look pretty much the same, with just, like, a little bit of variance in how exactly they got enough faster cast rate and stuff like that. But if you look at, like, other characters... Like, today I was watching Indrik do a hardcore hell necromancer speedrun, and in a category like that... um the runs which complete are going to be, like, they're still going for the same build, but they don't have control over which items drop, and so they are going to be pretty different based on which items drop. V v v v v v v v v from your cat. Thank you. Thank you, brother Bluto's cat. Having two diplomas means you're a nerd. Maybe you just like getting diplomas. Oh, does that make you a nerd? I don't think being a nerd means you lost. I think that's okay. Scrabble, thanks for 10 months. Appreciate it. Not enough variance. It's competition to approach tasks. Too much variance. RNG shithole. E2 Baby Bear's speedrun game. I thought we didn't like Baby Bear. I thought Baby Bear was the one that was too small and we liked Mama Bear. I think you got I think you got um Goldilocks wrong. <laughs> but I understand what you're saying. I think Diablo 2 probably leans on the too much RNG um side of things. But I greatly enjoy watching it. Here's the thing. I would rather watch a run knowing that it succeeds than watch somebody going for runs without knowing if they will succeed or not. Because there is a good amount of resetting. I 
I want padding? No. It doesn't really matter, right? I've just already won. I don't even know if buying minus attack speed was good there. Because I have improved tools. Engineer does not have great um, damage for this fight. Although, I am now looking at how much damage I'm dealing in this fight and changing my mind. Okay, right, I think in general, Engineer's damage is not that good for this fight. Uh, but I think this run I kind of popped off. GG. I have actually put my controller down. Okay, good. Took a while. Do I also have a visceral, visceral emotional reaction when someone is approaching world record on a speedrun only to suffer running death late in the game? You find that excruciating. I find it kind of... Here's the thing. Getting the world record is a lost condition of speedrunning because speedrunning is fun. And if you win, then you can't really do it anymore. It's my opinion. Explorer. I struggle with Explorer. I've won my last six. Crossbow. You can still farm for PB when you have world record. Yeah, but like nobody does that. Very disappointing. All right. I've never really understood Explorer. Like, you run around in circles killing the trees. I get it. It just always feels like you're kind of weak. To me. It's probably okay. I would really like harvesting. Okay. Let's actually read the character real quick. More trees spawn. You start with one lumberjack shirt, 10% more speed, 50% pickup range, more map size on enemies. Enemies don't drop materials and have more speed. And I deal much less damage. I don't think any of these are the answer. I also wanted to go for a lightning shiv. Precise weapon build. Maybe I do. That's okay. Okay. Shall sting lance is okay. Shall sting lance actually feels like a weapon here. I'd be down for six jousting lances. Okay. 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 Thief dagger is very good here. Maybe I just go thief dagger. Can I sell everything else? Look, it's it's gonna just be a mess for a bit, I think. And I think that's okay. <laughs> Used spears last time you beat Explorer and it worked fine. The spears are very good. Yeah, spears are great. I have not been offered any of those. I have a jousting lance, which is kind of like a spear. Can you start with ghost weapons on Explorer? Or 
I've made my damage even worse. Good choice. D rolls. It's the weekend. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> That'd be okay. Dig charcoal. More HP regen. I think range. I think range is nice here. Let's sell that. Buy this. Buy that. Buy this. It is kind of wild how much more damage Jostling Lance deals than everything else. All right. I believe the original Jousting Lance Explorer was Don Quixote, yeah? I think this is known in pop culture. We are on previously tread ground, which implies we are in the right place, maybe. I don't know. I guess we're an explorer, so maybe it doesn't imply that. I've never actually read Don Quixote, so... Please do not expect me to understand references to Don Quixote. You don't think anyone read Don Quixote? I think it was very nearly assigned in a class that I took. I think it was that uh, if I took one more year of Spanish, I would have had to read Don Quixote in high school in the Spanish. I think my friend who started Spanish a year before me, or maybe continued it a year after me, read Don Quixote. How am I meant to make money as this character? Anybody know? Can explore well tread ground. Uh I feel like that's like amateur though. I don't feel like the best explorers do that. Maybe in training. Although nowadays there isn't much to explore. Everything is pretty well mapped and understood, I feel like, these days. What do people explore these days? Space? The ocean? The human mind? Maybe. Explore these nuts. Oh, okay. Did you come up with that yourself?
Oh, my lightning shift's doing work. Okay. Uh, I want to go into Thief Daggers. I feel like at the moment I'm doing fine and that they will scale very well compared to Jousting Lance. Because the one thing about Explorer is we have a whole lot of extra enemies. However, looking at how much damage Thief Dagger deals compared to how much damage Lightning Shift deals, I'm like reconsidering. <laughs> I think maybe I should just go Jousting Lances. But how do I make money if I just go Jousting Lances? Sorry, how does this character make money? You like don't. You just don't make money. Huh. I guess there are more enemies, so even though they drop fewer materials, you are still getting a good chunk of materials from them. I took some harvesting early, maybe that'll be good. This is just good. I think this is just good, actually. You get so many boxes, so you need to spend less on items. Speaking of that, I should probably take a Shady Potion. I'm also going to take a Laser Turret. Shady Potion will get me more boxes. Because how many boxes drop is a function of luck. It's a function of how many times you roll a chance of a box dropping. How many boxes have dropped so far, and how much luck you have. There's like a reverse catch-up mechanic in how many crates drop in a wave, or if you've dropped a lot already, your chance of getting more goes down. I don't know if that's meaningfully different from a catch-up mechanic, actually. It's kind of just a catch-up mechanic. An interesting philosophical question, maybe. You kind of want crit chance, but okay. I feel like it's all coming together. I'm not buying more Jousting Lances or Lightning Shivs. This is very bold. I am so bold. I am making decisions. <laughs> Found hunting trophy? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. We're probably good or good adjacent. The hunting trophy. It no longer makes a whole lot of sense to be <laughs> building so many thief daggers, but I'm going to anyway. Weird how I sold one of my Jousting Lances, which were the only things I had which dealt damage, and now I feel like I deal half as much damage. That's weird, right? Oh, that seam! Oh, that seam! That one felt good. I mean... <laughs> I don't want to lock this, to be honest. 
let's not buy it for the horde wave, but let's have it and buy it after the horde wave. The crate drop chance lowers when you kill a loot goblin. So in theory, to maximize the number of crates dropped in a wave, you would kill all of the loot goblins who spawned in the wave on the final frame of the wave, in theory. In practice, this is not very easy to do. Rivendare's doing some uh doing some work for me here. Getting some good explosions. I might end up being able to clear the map as explorer. That's kind of cool. I build scales pretty well. You also risk the chance that the looter despawns before you kill it. Well, you want to kill every other enemy. Which means that it wouldn't despawn. Cyberball can't crit. Oh well. Need some range. That's not range. That's not range. None of this is range. Twenty-five percent more enemies means twenty-five percent more experience. Uh, no, because you get experience from the materials that the enemies drop, and the enemies drop half as many materials as this character. I do appreciate that there's shit going everywhere. That is kind of cool. Love it when shit goes everywhere. Hmm. Not sure on the phrasing there. <laughs> I do have minus two ranged damage. Which makes me feel like the baby with a beard is maybe not that good. All right, now I have positive range damage, even more positive range damage. Oh my god, it's another hunting trophy. Deal. Weapons that don't pierce or AoE seem bad on Explorer. Fortunately, every melee weapon pierces or AoEs. Fortunately. Is this actually engineer? Oh, I didn't update that. Explorer. Why would I take a recycling machine when I could instead take all of the things that are offered to me? You fool. Man, I don't know. I'll take the purple one.
An elite will appear on wave 14. Wow, wave 14 feels like it might be bad for Explorer, actually. I am leaving. This is about to be actual hell. I don't know, maybe the map's large enough that there aren't actually that many dots. Nope. breathe. <laughs> ah, I just didn't breathe for 30 seconds. <sighs> Holy shit. This game is good. Indy Rouge. Uh, the VOD is unpublished because I had music recording for it. I will probably die like next wave because my heart rate just hit 160. <laughs> I, I just didn't breathe for 30 seconds. <laughs> My body just absolutely activated fight or flight. Nice, brother James. I think I'm good on thief daggers, probably. I don't know. Having four level one thief daggers might be part of the reason this wave was extra difficult. Unlucky more daggers didn't show up. Yeah, people who can't do things sit in chat and criticize people who can. That's how the world works. I'm sorry, you are being insufferable. <laughs> what an insufferable approach to take to somebody surviving that wave. I've noticed you've done something that you enjoy. Here's how I can make it about how I think I'm better than you. I don't know if you're attempting to be insufferable, but... Uh, you are following the textbook. Okay, I understand. Fair enough. I'll take your word for it. Good. Now I can sell the rest of my weapon. <laughs> Get this shit out of here!
This is not correct, by the way. Sorry, I'm like, I've just had a near-death experience, so the world is very strange for me right now. to like take a walk. I just remembered that it's against the storm exists. Holy shit, there are so many games I want to play. Like I could very easily play Baldur's Gate 3 for 8 hours right now, or XCOM 2 for 8 hours, or Slay the Spire for 8 hours. Or against the storm for eight hours. I think it's unfair. I think that there should be fewer good games. He's Grumbledorf! Play Who's Lila? It's like four hours. Okay. What is special about this game? It's very good. That is what is special about it. Probably costs like five dollars. You might have to play it to understand why it's fun if you don't get it by watching. <laughs> Every game is now FIFA. Thank you. Much better. Pretty sure you want Pocket Factory as Explorer. Oh, is it too late for? It might be too late for that. There's a YouTuber who made a four to six hour video essay on a game that is four hours long. Believable, and also sounds like maybe the game's good, I don't know. If it's worth making such a YouTube video about. I 
have a cry. I feel like I could use a cry. Want a rip and tear damage check at the end of the run. Alright. See what I can do. Is Explorer doing colonialism to the enemies? I think they all are. I think we're the baddies in this game, unfortunately. Too bad, am I right? Did I go for Peacock for the final wave? I already rolled. Just in case I forgot, we have baby with a beard at 32,000 damage. We have rip and tear at 71,000 damage. What are the other big things this run? Cyberball at 22,000 damage. That feels like probably about it. How has Baby done so much damage with such little damage? Uh, Baby with a beard is a very, very, very good item. Is the answer. Also, there are a lot of enemies, so it procs a lot of times. Where are the other one? Where are you? I'm going to steal all of your gold. So many crates. Oh my god, I'm sorry I became emotional during that wave. I apologize. I'm glad we worked it out all manly. That's like the most riled up I've gotten while streaming in something like three years, I think. I used to have big anxiety responses when playing Slay the Spire before I stopped people from backseating. 
it was kind of like that. Except maybe worse, because I like actually stopped breathing for 30 seconds. <laughs> Wild shit. Wild shit. Uh, all right. So when you have a fight, flight, freeze, or fawn response, as they are called, your body is expecting to do something. And then if you don't do anything, all the chemicals that have been produced just kind of sit there. So I am going to jump up and down <laughs> for a bit. Right back. Astro Fields, thanks for 50 months. If y'all would like, let's do like 50... 50 jumping jacks and 10 burpees. 15 burpees? I don't know, something like that. Tucker, are you going to help? My legs are so I just had a leg buckle. <sighs> right, I feel better. Hey, London. <sighs> Maybe, brother James. Maybe. Oh, doctor is free. <sighs> Basically, for doctor, medical gun is just SMG, but also it heals you, so you win. To stop breathing this heavily before I drink water.
It's also a very simple character to play. You just take the medical guns. Like the entire thing. When you do hard cardio, you get my gums are bleeding flavor. What does that mean? They say recovery time is the true test of your fitness, and I am not very fit. I sit in a chair and play video games for a living. Maybe we should all have an exercise goal this year, Twitch chat. But if we all ran the Seattle Marathon together next year? It's blood from the capillaries in your lungs bursting. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't have that. This looks like a good shop. The first woman to ever complete the Barclay Marathon happened this weekend. I saw that on the internet. Changing a diet to home cooked meals. That sounds like a good choice. This character is just very comically easy. Nice ghost valve. Chaotic, how are you? <sighs> You're really saddened when we changed to almost entirely cooking from home from scratch and was just as expensive. Hmm. I have found it is cheaper to cook. But Perhaps there's something about the food that I eat that makes it cheaper to cook. I don't know. Or maybe it's my Costco membership. I have a Costco card. It brings me great power. Or maybe it's that I'm expensive when I eat out. Medical guns also make a funny sound when they shoot. Overall, A plus experience. I think I could use more. I don't really know. More something. Damage? More damage, I think. I like the Kirkland Premium Vanilla Ice Cream. It is bomb. You know, I haven't bought that myself, but my parents used to buy it when I was a kid. I'm gonna buy glasses because 
I want to be able to take minus range items. Like a baby with a beard. Your parents gift to you when you graduated high school was a Costco membership through college. That is pretty rad. I think that's good parenting. I'll share an opinion on parenting with you. Which potato is this? It's actually called Doctor. I mean, fine. We did well last time. Don't have as much uh, melee damage this time, but that's okay. You run. You are the treasurer of a student-run movie theater. So you are in on the Sam's Club membership. Nice. I don't think I have ever been to Sam's Club. It's a it's a structure, right? Like it's a place you go, and then they have lots of things. It's just Costco, but different. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is not one of them I've ever been to, though. Oh, I got it! Nice. And I killed the tree, which didn't have anything in it, but still, I killed it. Glass cannon seems okay. I got a uh, fifty percent armor modifiers. So it's not as much minus armor, and the damage percent felt relevant. Do anyone else's Twitch player buttons stop working randomly? I'm getting such like such weird feedback about the Twitch website recently. <laughs> Apparently, it's started showing Fox News ads. Sometimes it shows the same ad twice in a row. And the buttons on the Twitch player just like randomly stop working. Maybe I should become a TikTok influencer. No, that website's going to get banned in the United States or something. Hmm. I don't like it. Well, I think too many people use it. Would be too unpopular. I don't know. Maybe if evangelicals get the idea that it's evil. There was a week-long period where everything you type could randomly be reversed or rearranged at will. Is this real? Kinda wild if true. max HP. I actually have a lot of attack speed. It looks like I don't have any. But that is because I have minus 100% base attack speed, but plus 200% attack speed with medical tag weapons. Hi! I fed you and gave you water before I started my stream. I did. I did. You want to lie down? Come here. Move the shirt. Sure. 
My cat's being weird. I think with 37 luck I could roll. I don't know if I want shackles. Sure. It was two hours ago. It's true. It was two hours ago. Zephyr isn't my cat? Oh, my bad. I think uh, for the purposes of being a pet owner in Seattle, I had to say that he was. Tell him to go to sleep? He might actually want me to tuck him into bed. I think he would like me to be in the bed as well. Is the... that's the puzzle. Potato in bed. Nah. I'm good with y'all not being in my bedroom. <laughs> no offense intended. But I'm good with uh that being a place that you are not. Zephyr needed a green card. <laughs> it's nice having a separate space for work and not work. Also nice to have a separate space for sleeping. Neither of those things happen. Neither work nor not work happens when you are asleep. I'm trying to buy a little frog more. This is a years long project at this point. Probably not actually. I've probably been trying to buy a little frog more for like about a year, if I had to guess. It was okay. Can't claim the office as a tax write-off if I stream from bed. What the law very literally says and what in practice people do and what in practice makes any sense whatsoever is different for that thing. In order to have like a write-off or a home office, you're meant to not use the space for like anything other than work in your house, which is like, okay, but it's in my house. So I have to like walk through it regularly at minimum. <laughs> Anyway. I like Rip and Tear didn't do anything. Let's take melee damage for Rip and Tear. Sensible, kind of. Piercing might be good. This thing might be good. I sure didn't come close to killing that enemy, and also it sure didn't come close to mattering that I didn't kill that enemy. You have all three in the same space because that's all the space you got. That is very understandable. Immensely understandable.
Work from home is fantastic if the alternative is an hour plus commute. I have never had an hour plus commute. It sounds miserable. I am fortunate to not be able to speak to that from experience, though. Is a minigun good? I don't think so. How's the first alien eyes doing 5,000 damage? Not, like, terrible. Not nothing. Hey, AJ! WR! How are you? My damage seems better against this elite for some reason. It might just be that this elite doesn't spawn a billion adds if you take the shots instead. I did take 26 from that hit, which means I'm like just barely at three hits. With this much sustain, I probably just need to not die in two hits and I'm fine. I did just buy something like 60% damage in items. I did buy quite a lot of damage. That is true. I think it was more like a 20% uh, net damage increase probably, but... Well, I don't know. How much is the piercing? Probably not that much. Use some speed. Let's say no to crit chance. I have found minus speed, which is kind of the same thing. There was a focus and a silver bullet. Oh, true, I did buy a silver bullet. Um, I already had a bunch of damage percent though, so like in terms of in terms of how much more damage I am dealing, I am not dealing sixty percent more damage there. But silver bullet is a lot. Silver Bullet is actually a flat 25% increase against elites. It is a different multiplier. It's over here. Percent damage against bosses, 25. That gets multiplied. Two things separately. I want to go to sleep. Hmm. It's fine. I have some other stream things to do first. Here's some speed. I mean, close to a year that you read something that isn't just purely for fun. Is that bad? I'm not sure if that's bad or not. It sounded like it was bad, but I can't think of why it's bad. I guess like personal personal development. Isn't personal development fun though? I feel like it's fun. I feel like the books that I come back to as being like, oh, that was really valuable to me to have read that. Were also books that were fun to read. An obliterator. It has a 5.12 second cooldown. I don't think we're buying that. It 
It's really not a very, uh, I don't know. The character kind of builds itself, I guess. that are good for personal development aren't necessarily easy mindless reading. Ah, you're saying that your reading has tended to be easy and mindless. That's fair. That's fair. I want to buy Peacock, because it's like the only way I can die, and I want to feel alive. Handcuffs are not awful. I might lock these and buy them next wave. What's the six percent damage? Sure, why not? I bought I bought Peacock and Bait. What a good time. Hey wireframe wife, how are you? More crit chance. Can I just lock this even longer? I don't know. It's fine. 65 health is enough. Fuck. What a disaster. I lost my 3 max HP from Potato. Your cat has learned that if she complains for 30 plus minutes late in the evening, you'll give her a little bit of extra food. Oh no. Oh no, meow 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 meow. -mer. I'm sorry. It's the beginning of the end. Great Skinardo, thanks for the 44 months, I appreciate it. So how's everybody else doing? I'm just kind of watching the enemies die in this run. Playing last epoch. How much uh, playtime have you gotten out of that? I am curious if it is a game with a relevant. Oh my god, they're dead already. With a relevant end game.
380 hours. That is a lot of time. <sighs> Solid, but endgame kind of boring. Six characters with level 92 plus. Does it go up to 99? Goes to 100? Wow. You just have to one-up... One-up Diablo like that, huh? Hunter. Hunter is pretty difficult. An Artificer. I'll go for the hunter run. I don't mind dying as hunter. Hunter is to me one of the hardest characters in the game. We get no harvesting and we get very poor max HP and the 1% damage for every 10 range you have is like okay but only if you have crossbows, really. And I don't have crossbows. I'm starting with shuriken. And other than that, uh, I don't know. We get slightly better crit chance modifiers. Took you so long to figure out that Hunter wasn't good. Hmm. Not getting a harvesting is just kind of pretty bad. Somewhat limiting. Have I considered that shurikens look really cool because you're a ninja? Uh, shurikens look and I think are pretty cool. I probably want to go three through shurikens and three thief daggers from my current spot, given that I haven't started with crossbows. I think I would be okay with that, though. I'm also digging the music tonight. The problem is like sure I'm mowing everything down and murdering it all and stuff. I have eight max HP. <laughs> And I don't have any economy. So that's the problem. Cat? What are you doing? Just a sec. Third game still offers harvesting level ups to hunter and harvesting items. Last Epoch has potential to be best ARPG with more end game life. Really fun. Huh. Not all potatoes care about harvesting, and night is just so strong that the minus 80% harvesting doesn't matter. Sure. Okay, when it thinks the four months, appreciate it. Oh. <sighs> I 
I watched Masters of the Air. Worked on it for a little bit. I think the last episode was only like a week ago or something though. It took a while to pick up, but once it got going, it was like, oh yeah. This is Band of Brothers adjacent. I would give it a slight recommendation if you are a person who enjoyed Band of Brothers. Do I want a boxing glove? I think I do. In fairness, I think Band of Brothers had a pretty poor first two episodes. Ross from Friends was there. I don't know. Balchicola! Um, yeah, so that happens on this character. <laughs> Maybe some max HP would be good. This is Monan. They are Blakey. This one is that dare, I think. Right? I think so. Is this also art? It is! I got it right! Oh god. Oh, the wave's over. I thought I was dead. Played this in a uh, high school jazz band, I think, or possibly middle school. I wonder if that one shots me if I get hit by it. Holy. Holy. Yeah, I'm gonna take the one that gives me more max HP. Alright. It's a tall order for middle school. Well, they had like arrangements that were the song, but not the actual chart. Like, we played Birdland in middle school, which is a much harder piece to perform than the thing that we actually performed when we played it in middle school. I played some pretty real horn solis in high school jazz band, though. Our high school jazz band was pretty good.
Have some armor. I'm still not done. I have some HP regen. Things are looking up. I actually think, um, I used to try making thief daggers work by themselves on Hunter. And I used to try making shurikens work by themselves on like every character. And what I have found recently is that three shurikens and three thief daggers actually complement each other really well. The problem with only having shurikens is that stuff gets close to you and doesn't die. But six thief daggers feels like a bit of overkill sometimes. Um, so you can go six thief daggers with range to make them more like spears, at which point, like, they do pretty well. But you can also go three and three. What I'm trying to say, I think, is that Thief Dagger is really good, and so adding three Thief Daggers to a build that used to be only shurikens makes it a lot better. I think, I think, actually, that's the, the thing that I am communicating and observing. Character I made you almost smash your phone when you played it on mobile, you hate it. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> that does not sound good. Oh, I never updated the title. Hunter. That wisp sop seemed really cool. Oh, we are talking about Path of Exile or Last Epoch, huh? Okay. My brother found a really good Path of Exile item once, and so I had him explain why it was good to me so I could understand, because he was like, look at this thing, isn't it cool? And I was like, I don't know. And I feel like he had to write like three paragraphs or something. brother and I played Diablo 3 together on release and it was like one of our sibling things. We got very into it for a while, but I have not followed him to Path of Exile. It's okay, right? It gives me damage percent because of my character. It's only 3%, but still I'm okay with more range. I have a brother. I do. I have a brother and I have a sister. Is Jorbs streaking? I haven't lost in a little while. Is this a horde? Yo, that was wild. How did I not just die? <laughs> <laughs> for more max HP. I think that was a horde. Okay. Da -da -da. Ba -ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da -da. 
Da, da, da. I have bought three reposts. I don't generally think that's a very good item. So that's kind of weird. Alright, uh, I have half health and I bought bait. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> like by the back side because you feel like if you feel like doing zero brain, just mindless grinds, you can do some stuff. But if you want to invest your brain and effort, you can always get more rewarded accordingly. Hmm. I think that's why I like incremental games. I think that's why I like a lot of games, actually. A lot of turn-based strategy games are very good at letting you decide how hard you want to think about something in particular. And you like turn-based strategy, as you all may have noticed. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to. It's scary. It's scary. Alright, I think I'm out of one shot range. I think I'm good. When you load up your modded Slay the Spire stuff, it's a different vibe from when you do Ascension 20 stuff. Believable! For modded Slay the Spire theories, you should just install every mod. Maybe you're right. I am no longer a believer in community support. I stopped believing that it does anything. Should I buy a crown just to have a crown? Ooh, that's probably good, and that. Played a demo of this card game called Control at PAX. Really fun, one set of cards that has a lot of strategy card draw disrupting your opponent. You pre-ordered immediately after you demoed it. All right. Check out Mindbug. You might enjoy Mind Bug. I should bring Mind Bug to uh, games in Seattle. I never have. It's a good game, but a lot of people would enjoy it. When's next games? Two weeks? Or is it one week? Is Sunday in April? Like next Sunday? Today's Sunday, right? March has 31 days, so it's two weeks.
All right, I have a thief dagger. Please don't kill me. I don't think I want to try to kill it, though. I forgot to breathe again! <sighs> this wave wasn't even that hard. <laughs> Could really breathe more. Got how much money I got? A lot of money. Get all your breathing done in the morning so you don't gotta worry about it rest of the day. Morning person, I like that. Morning people control the world. Should get the relic potion belt, which allows you to breathe four times and save them for later. Is that why old people run the world? Uh, no, that's the concentrated nature of wealth transfer. Wow, that's interesting. It sure seems like these white people who started off with money have a lot of power by the time they reach the age of 80. I buy this even though I don't get harvesting? Maybe. Ooh. I crit chance up. Simply begin by having everything you need already. Yeah. Fight! All right, I think I uh, successfully turned the corner on my hunter run. This one wasn't too bad, really. Maybe this character is easy. I don't know. I think basically I can attribute all of my recent Rotato success to just building Thief Dagger with every character. Simply get giant spelt every time? I don't think giant spelt matters that much here. I guess it's good, but I don't think it meaningfully changed what this wave looked like, other than that the elite died a bit faster. What about the dock with the medical guns? True. True. Shouldn't build. Ooh. No. Um, shouldn't build thief daggers on Doctor, probably. I could take a blood donation to style on the run. Did 
There really isn't much left to buy. I'm just gonna buy max HP as much as I can find, I guess. Did you know Brotato is actually based on the armed conflicts between labor and capitalists and the state during the Gilding Age? Gilded Age. That is a common mistake people make. And it's understandable. Because during the Gilded Age, um, the state and capitalists and labor um, actually had a conflict that was based on Brotato. So you have, like, the connection right, but the direction round the wrong way. Source, just trust me, bro. You've never picked up Claw. Claw is... You know, I feel like it tries its best. I'm not sure its best is very good. I have a hundred percent crit chance still, more or less. <sighs> I'm talking about the famous Brotato Famine of 497. Possible. We should listen to Stan Rogers more than we do. I haven't listened to Stan on stream in a little bit. I've been listening to a lot of sad boys who died young, and we could mix it up by listening to a happy boy who died young. I actually know how young Stan Rogers died. I think he died like relatively young though. Died in a plane crash? Oof. Was it a Boeing? Too soon? No, I feel like the right time. Being good luck for next run. Wait, actually, I, I actually want this. Okay. I missed that in the shop. It's a common, so sometimes I don't immediately look at it. Oh my god, can that die, please? Oh my god, shuriken, kill it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> GG. Easy Hunter. Who's next? Artificer. I also find Artificer very difficult. I've won nine in a row. I'm going to stretch my legs and run to the bathroom. I will be right back.
after Artificer is Armed Dealer. And then Streamer. And then Cyborg. Wow, this is like the, the little gauntlet. I don't think any of those characters are very easy. I genuinely struggle on Artificer, though. Plank start actually feels really good. Oh, yeah. I think my experience with Artificer is if I start with Plank, I win easily. Um, if I start with wrench, I have found that going straight to red wrench can be okay. And I don't know how to win if I start with anything else. The British people pronounce this game as brotato instead of brotato. Or is that one of those things where like it being a proper noun makes it more consistent across the world? British people don't even say potato. That's just not even a thing that... Potato. British people don't even say that. Do they? Are there British people here who actually say that? I have never actually... Tomato, yes. Absolutely. Absolutely tomato. Absolutely, Tomato. I'm on board for that. All right. Screwdriver. I don't know if I've ever won a run of Artificer starting Screwdriver in my life. We deal one damage. I guess the game plan for wave one is to, like, we have this landmine, and we gather everything, and then we pull it over here. Okay. Why do you need to have armor modifications nerfed on this character? Like, is it too strong otherwise? I am going to go for a somewhat delayed wrench start. I'm going to take a bag to help with that. Why does that cost nine? It's so cheap. Don't let that kill the landmine. No, 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 no! Uh, all right, all right, these things. <laughs> Got fucking 34 materials? Oh, I'm so dead. Well, shit. No. Can I get them to here? All right, I got a little bit more of that wave. I mean, 
melee damage doesn't do anything. Let's take some speed so I can dodge. Another wrench. I gambled on a bag and I don't think it's done anything yet, right? Shit. To say survivor game genre. It's like if Empire Survivors was a run-based game instead of a meta progression based game. Oh I got a crate! Huge. No! Ooh, actually that explosion was okay. Come over here, my friends. <laughs> Okay, this character's so bad. Um, I do take elemental damage because it increases my explosion range. I take more. And I take harvesting. I take another wrench. I think I'm going to take another screwdriver. I do not love that I'm spending money on screwdrivers, though, because I think they are a lot worse than wrenches to be spending money on. But maybe I go for it anyway because it's what I've got. We've got to erase the chalkboard from last round and write Artificer. Thank you. Having one burning tart is great. Having more than one burning tart starts to feel pretty bad sometimes, but having one is excellent. Got a crate, nice. Your movement on this character is just so wild with all the landmines and everything, and the enemies like don't die when you hit them, which is really weird. Or that's okay. Winnable? Winnable. Tractor feels very good here. I think I'll go luck. Explosion damage looks good. Unfortunately, I think that this is way too expensive. I don't know. Is it too expensive? Probably. I have almost gotten my first red turret. You have to stay far away from them because wrenches naturally have knockback on them and they have this really I how did I not die there? They have this really weird swing pattern where if something's close to you, a wrench will actually hit it on the other side of it from where you are and knock it into you. It is one of the worst UI UX things in the entire game and will regularly kill you. So that is a thing that I'm trying to manage. I'll take another two elemental damage, keep increasing explosion size. Take a turret, sure. Take a fertilizer, sure. Take a lumberjack shirt, I think. Okay, that gets me a red turret next wave if I want. Hiding down here makes some amount of sense. Come over here, friend. You're still not dead? And knock 
put a thing into myself with a wrench. One down. Lumber deck shirt, really good pickup here. I think I got that last landmine off too. I don't want more range because it will make my wrenches knock things into me more often. I don't know that I want attack speed either. I think just luck. All right, I think I am cashing in on a red turret here. Yeah, so I, I'm actually going to be fighting with four weapons this wave. But it's kind of fine. Just trust me. Where's my red turret? All right, we just stand by this. So Artificer's big thing is that you get bigger explosion size for elemental damage. And I have a little bit of explosion, or I have a little bit of elemental damage, and now I have a thing that makes lots of explosions and they deal a lot of damage. And so if I just stand by it, I should win. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think I have been forced out of my red turret corner. That was a good landmine. Oh my god, this is so <laughs> this is so exciting. This game's so good! <laughs> So good. <laughs> Theta Zero, thanks for the seven months. Appreciate it. Let's take max HP over armor, I think. I wouldn't hate having more things. Thank you. It's like the game show Get El Jefe's Money, except it is like Get Jeff's Money. I get it now. Get El Jefe's Money. I understand. Uh, did you see how my wrenches knocked things into me like three times there? That was pretty fun. Yes, go explosive turret. Do all of the damage. wrench knocked things into me three times again. <laughs> Wrenches, they're a good time. <laughs> okay, I didn't die. Who knows how? Who knows how? I think it's actually completely fine to buy a plank here. I'm going to do that. Alright. They're late to the party, but I have some planks now. And a medical turret. I'm gonna stand about here to get the medical turret and the explosive turret working. So plank is... Why does plank even work? Oh, because it deals explosion damage sometimes, that's why. Wait, it always deals explosion damage. It's melee attacks count as explosion damage, that's why it works. Okay, I think. Is that true? I don't know. I 
got a little spicy going all that way there. Shredder is the same? Yeah, I think you're right. Otherwise, Shredder would not be very pliable on this character, so I think you have to be right. Alright, spicy sauce is good. This is good. No, 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 no. Explosion damage seems good. Another plank seems okay. I wonder at what point I'm spending too much money on planks. I think it's okay. You do have to watch out for, like, planks don't quite scale enough to win the game, in my experience. So... If you're going for planks, you, like, need to hit a nuclear launcher or something. But I'm, like, not trying to go for planks. I'm trying to go for wrenches. I'm just not getting any. But I got the one explosive turret, maybe it's enough, I don't know. At the moment, this wave seems to be going okay. Oh, my garden has no stuff in it. Fampy, thanks for 18 months. How am I today? Hype. I'm currently very hype. How are you? Is this good? I care about the elemental damage. I guess I care about everything for planks. Sure. Explosion size is good. I would kind of like to get rid of my screwdriver, honestly. Okay, roll. Okay, roll again. game music or Jorb's music? This is Jorb's music, although I do think jazz works quite well for Brutato. Look at the size of these explosions. They're getting kind of big. Alright, good. Buy that. Just need to keep scaling. Which probably means getting more red turrets. Which looks kind of hard. Me and you, red turret! It spawned right next to the medical turret, which is very kind of it. Not too far from the garden, either. I would have preferred it not to be right on the edge of the map, I think. I don't know, it's kind of okay. I saw a commercial recently where they very clearly used a slightly edited version of the potato music in the commercial. You know, I don't know what the potato music is. I haven't, uh... I 
I mean, I have heard it in my life, but not any time recently. I'm down for Gentle Alien. I think it's fine. All right, right in the middle. Well, this is fun. We have 14 is the one where lots of things shoot at me, and I'm not necessarily good at killing them, so they may just keep shooting at me the entire wave. We'll see. I have a variety of turrets. I don't know that they actually really do anything. My turrets from trees shoot and hit one thing for 22, while my exploding turret shoots and hits 10 things for 149, so... They are not the same. But every little bit helps, I guess. You're liking this the map randomly explodes strategy. Yeah, me too. Seems okay. I'd love some speed. I'm not gonna roll down for it. There, some speed. Perfect. This is a horde wave. I actually think I am relatively decent at a horde wave. I like that. I think I'm not going to buy improved tools, actually. Spicy sauce, uh, I now have four of them. Which I think means they always proc. When I pick up a consumable, it always explodes. I don't know, we can see. Explosion size is still getting larger. Does this explode? It did. Alright, yeah, it looks like when I pick up a consumable, they explode always and kind of kill everything. Spicy sauce build, who knew? I, I don't remember ever having an artificer run where it was like, yeah, I won because of spicy sauce. But it is very good right now. Great, like that's pretty insane. <laughs> uh, how much explosion size do you need before the smallest base explosion covers the entire map? Well, I think quite a lot. It's more speed or elemental damage. Ooh, I want speed. I want to be able to dodge elites, I think. My damage is actually okay. Not finding a lot of wrenches, though, am I? Spicy sauce is the endless meta. Is it really? Hmm. That's weird. Map something. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is really strong. All right. Magical leaf, or maybe grinds. I don't know. Feels fine. Not great on wave 16, but still okay to buy. Oh, 
Okay. Finally found another red wrench. Very good. I feel like tardigrades eventually stop working in this or something. I don't remember. Not a person who cares a ton about endless. Spicy sauce, demon plus ghost scepters, tardigrades. Why is that good? <coughs> Excuse me. Named after streamer, time to grind. Ah, uh, okay. Didn't know that. Is an elite wave. That seems pretty good. Oh, demon takes the... I see. I was thinking about it the direct opposite way, like you'd want to spend the money from the ghost scepters. Well, spend the HP from the ghost scepters. But yeah, that makes sense. Sure have gotten hit by everything. Such a weird elite fight. It's like nothing is happening, but I get hit every time. <laughs> like my brain just won't work. All right. Okay. Fortunately, it didn't matter. I also take tons of gardens for sauce. Sure. Sounds believable. I just sell this now. I am never using it anymore. Just look for one more big wrench, maybe. Oh, the bounce on my projectiles does sound pretty good. That works, right? I'm pretty sure that works. Projectile bounce, one of the most fun things in the game. I feel like the most fun thing in the game is the, the struggle. Walking the line between life and death. Seeing the light go out of the eyes of the enemy. But also projectile bounce is probably fine, I don't know. Yeah, it definitely applies to my turrets. I don't know if they target well. That's more what I'm concerned about. This is the final shop. Lock for next run.
Where are all my uh, parts? So, oh, there's two down here. Oh, that's so unlucky. I guess we will stay in this corner. I guess it ended up being fine. Like, as long as I don't get pushed out of this corner, it doesn't really matter. In fact, it's almost good that they're both in the same place. Alright. Artificer Screwdriver! Super iffy start, used wrenches, plus plank, plus screwdrivers. Eventually got one red turret and hid behind it all run. Ooh, shout out to the tractor. Oh yeah, tractor was a real nice, a real nice drop early. Not often that I end a run where I want to have weapons with only four weapons. <laughs> I played 20 waves and this is what I got. I guess I, um, I sold some stuff. Sure, spicy sauce eventually came online. This seems worth adding. I have 307 rows in this spreadsheet. I have recorded in this spreadsheet 306 runs of Brotato. I would have a decent win rate, I feel, but like probably 50 of them are losses with Fisherman. <laughs> Oh, I do have a summary page. This is nice. We can check in with past Jorbs who made this spreadsheet. I don't remember this spreadsheet very well. Oh yeah, this this is kind of nice. I have a little a little summary page. I have never lost on loud. I have never lost on bull. At least since starting to make this spreadsheet, yeah. Wait, it's not sorted by win percent. Very strange. Let's sort it by win percent. Data sort sheet by sort range by column C, Z to A. All right. I have lost once as the king. I actually haven't lost as Hunter on this spreadsheet. This is not a spreadsheet that I started when I first began playing the game. It's a spreadsheet that I started when 1.0 came out. That is surprising to me that I'm 4-0 on Hunter since then. Because I would guess that I wouldn't like half of my Hunter runs, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe Hunter is actually the character I've gotten a handle on. Yeah, the math does not suggest Artificer is great for me. I have struggled with Artificer. Also have struggled with Streamer, who I think might be almost next. We have Arms Dealer first. Struggled a lot with Cyborg, and then I have 42 Fisherman losses. So, so you have to understand... 1.0 came out and Fisherman was one of the new potatoes. And Fisherman, if you buy bait, um, it only costs one material. And <laughs> so, and there's always a bait in every store. So I played a very, very, very large number of Fisherman runs where I just <laughs> like bought 15 baits and died. <laughs> Yeah. Least favorite potato. Wow, I'm surprised that I've only won two out of five on farmer. 
I would not have guessed that farmer was my was tied for my lowest win rate potato other than fisherman. Uh least favorite might be okay. Jack I find very difficult. I really dislike playing cyborg. I do not like cyborg. And I also have not done very well on Cyborg. I don't think the two things are um, I suspect that the two things are connected. Me not liking Cyborg and me not having done well on Cyborg. Next up is Arms Dealer, but I'm going to leave that until next time.